Hello and thanks for watching Gary Teaches Maths. I'm continuing to go through the Edexcel higher tier paper from 2018. And this is paper one and we're on question 16. So we're given a question about ratios here. And um, we've got a bag which has got red counters, blue counters and purple counters. So I'm just gonna draw that bag. So we've got red, blue, and purple in the bag. So it says that the ratio of red counters to blue counters is 3 to 17. So I'm just going to write down that ratio. So we've got red to blue is 3 to 17. So that's the that's the first bit of information we've looked at. And the second bit is giving us the probability that the counter is going to be purple if we picked a counter out of this bag that was purple. So we're told that the probability of getting a purple counter is equal to 0 0.2. And what we do know is that the all probabilities add to one. So the total probability if you added the probability of everything, all the probabilities add to one. So what that means is we've got the chance of getting either purple, red or blue. So if we didn't get purple, then we'd either be getting red or blue. So I can work out what the probability of getting red or blue is. And what that must be is one minus the probability of getting purple since they all add up to one. So I can say it's actually one minus the probability of getting purple. And because we know the probability of getting purple, because we're told it, it's there. It's 0 0.2. It's one minus 0 0.2. And that is equal to. 0.8. So that's the probability of getting a red or blue. And what we want to find out is what's the probability that Sam will choose a red counter from the bag. Well, the other bit, the first bit of information we calculated was that the probability is in the ratio, or the number of counters is in the ratio 3 to 17. And that will also mean that the probabilities are in the ratio 3 to 17. So the probability of getting a red counter to the probability of getting a blue counter will also be in that ratio because it's proportional to the number of counters that we have. So that's the, the probabilities, the ratio of probabilities. So really what we need to do is take this 0 0.8 and split it up into this ratio. So if we add those together, that gives us the total of the ratio, which is 20. So we're interested in the, the three bit here, because that's the probability of getting red. So we can say, well, three twentieths of this probability, probability of getting red, three twentieths of that probability, the 0 0.8, will be the probability of getting a, getting a red. So if we uh, can make that a little bit easier for us, if we want to work in terms of fractions, or we could just do this, um, we can't do it on the calculator because it's a non-calculator paper. So I'm going to convert this into a, a fraction. So 0 0.8 as a fraction is actually 4 fifths. So I've got 3 over 20 times by 4 fifths. And if we do that, we end up with three times four on the top, which is 12. And we end up with 100 on the bottom. And we can actually simplify that. If I divide top and bottom by four, I'll get three over 25, which is the answer, the answer we're looking for. So I hope that's been helpful. If it has, please like our video and subscribe to our channel, which is Gary Teaches Maths. And for more help, uh, visit our website, which is bestmathstutors.co.uk.
and it's just appearing here in the left. Thanks for watching.